Okay, so I'm going to show you the easiest possible way to do gene ontology enrichment or pathway enrichment, which requires no programming. All you need is a list of genes. In this case, we're using the genes identified from our differential expression analysis, but they can be from any source. So all you need to do is copy the gene IDs where they're in a list with one ID on each line. And I'm using in symbol IDs here, but this method supports multiple different gene identifiers. And you can just go to Google and type in David Gene. It should be the first result, this David functional annotation. And then you can just go to start analysis. Let me zoom in a little more. All you have to do is make sure you're in the upload tab. You just take that list you just copied and you just paste it and then you select the IDs that you used. So we used in symbol gene IDs but you see this supports many different IDs. So this method works for official gene symbols for example or you can use the entry IDs etc. But we want the ensemble gene IDs. And if you pick the wrong one, it'll yell at you and tell you that you did. And we're supplying a gene list. And then it automatically knows what species you're using. But depending on your gene IDs or the format of your gene IDs, you may have to specify. And then you can just click on the functional annotation tool. And here we can pick what enrichment databases we actually want to look in. Like I don't care about protein domains. So I'm going to uncheck these, but you see we have pathways, which we care about, and gene ontology, which we care about. We can get rid of these functional categories as well, so we just have gene ontology and pathways. And then you can click the functional annotation chart, and it brings up this nice table of gene ontology terms and CAG terms or whatever we selected in the previous screen. And do you get the p-values, the corrected p-values, and other information? So one thing I didn't do though is I included both negative and positive. So I'm going to actually filter this and only select the positively expressed genes. And I'm going to set a threshold of one. Of course, you can do this programmatically. So I'm just going to copy these 269 and go back to upload and just paste it back in there and then select ensemble gene ID again, gene list submit, and then you just have to uncheck these again. So that's pretty much it. Another neat thing with this is you can easily look at the pathways. So if we find a CAG pathway, even though it wasn't actually significantly enriched, but I'll just show it as an example. It brings up the CAG pathways and it'll show you which of your genes were found in this pathway. And then finally, if you look at the chart, you can actually download it. And then you can just save this as a TSV, and then you can open it in R or Python or whatever you want.